This is Twit. Um, we got some blurry, fresh leaks of Samsung's next oh, foldables. Boy. Maybe I'll save my money and buy one of these because who knows how much they're going to cost. Uh, but the the Samsung Z Flip 3 and the Z Fold 3, uh, the Z Flip 3 has a panda look to it, uh, which is reminiscent of the Panda Pixel 2. Uh, the mm. darker block up top actually seems to house a rear display and dual camera setup, uh, which is interesting. Um, and the Z Fold 3 touts the first foldable with under display camera, as well as S Pen functionality and a triple camera array on the rear. Um, and and Let's Go Digital did some HD renders based on these low-res leaks so we can get a better sense. Again, keep in mind that these are renders. Um, they're not actually, you know, they, they, you know, it might change, but it's based off these blurry leaks. Um, but the the panda look, the, the two-tone look is interesting. I don't know. Um, I, I'm tempted by the flip. Like, I like the idea of the flip phone, <laughs> but I don't know if it's worth the money. So, yeah. Uh, yep. I'm... I- I'm guessing that Samsung's – as I'm saying it, I'm like doubting myself. But I was I was going to say I'm guessing that Samsung's going to drop the price on these foldables a little bit. I would have to think. Not much, though. Not by much. Not by much. I would love to see some sales data around the – particularly the flip to see if – as well as with Motorola to see if people are interested in that form factor or not. Um, Wesley, I, I think I, I can't believe the show's gone on this long, and I haven't asked you this question. Where do you stand on foldables? I think they are the- nice looking because I'm not leaving the house as much. Uh, size is less of an issue. So being able to flip and slide in my pocket sounds great, but I'm, I'm not traveling all that much. Um, so um, it, when that happens, maybe it'll be more interesting to have a flip. I think that these form factors may help with battery life if you have the main display closed and you just have this auxiliary display on the outside. That might be an advantage uh, on the go. Um, but the, they are price prohibitive for me because there's no real advantage. These feel like uh, most of the time you'll get inferior technology in terms of the camera, the battery life, um, and the yeah. processor sometimes. Uh, even 5G, which some have, but still that's going to drain your battery even more. So it feels like you're paying more for the aesthetic than you are for functionality. Uh, so right now until – like I'm rocking a Pixel 2, like I said. Come on. Uh, the bar has to be really, <laughs> really high for me to do an upgrade. Yep. So uh, if, if it's given me something I wouldn't get in a different form factor other than looking cool, then maybe. But right now I, I hope to eventually graduate over to a flip. But right now it's it's not enticing me to do anything that I, I can't do already with my own phone. So I'm realizing something yeah. as you were talking about the phone that you're with right now, uh, the phone that you're with, you are with phone, uh, the Pixel right. 2. Uh, <laughs> Uh, love, the, received... love, the fo- love the phone you're with. That's what, that's yes. what we yeah. need to learn. If you love it, put a case on <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Love the phone yeah, you're that's with. That's right. <laughs> uh, no one, so, no uh, one but Jason got that, by the way. All of you people <laughs> born in the 90s did not get that one. <laughs> <laughs> the Pixel 2 uh, got its last update in December, right? Yep. Is that, yep. I'm yeah. one of the unprotected people how, how do you yeah how do you feel about that like do you feel like are you itching to to jump to a new phone at this point knowing that you're that you're on a motorcycle wearing jeans and you should be wearing leather pants <laughs> oh, I, i'm not leaving the house i haven't left the house so like how how much protection do i need for uh if i i'm pretty much the the i the Software set that I have and application set that I have, it's yeah. basically no more vulnerable than any brand new application. I, I, I don't feel the the need to be targeted. And if someone yeah. hacked my phone, uh, it would be bad. But generally speaking, I'm, I'm, I, it would be one in a million chance that someone would actually come after me. I am, I am a little right. interested to to be able to do an upgrade to get to twelve. Like I won't probably get that update, but no, still. Twelve doesn't. I, they. I remember back in the day when you would get uh, a new version of Android and your applications would run faster because they had tight, tighter coupling uh, and more optimizations or uh, better battery life or because they were doing more uh, clustering of notifications. These types of things 
excite me. And I don't hear those developments on Android anymore. And so until I hear something like, wow, I really need that or that will make my life easier, it's hard for me to justify spending the money to, to upgrade my phone to get that software um, update. Are you noticing any slowdown or any degradation in the experience or the battery or anything like that? Like an external, like a, like a different kind of, um, kind of, uh, it, like, well, I don't want to say issue, but a different kind of roadblock that would, that would require you to upgrade to something new. In November, I, um, my battery stopped working. Like it, it was really bad. Uh, it'll get the 30% and turn off. Um, oh it was outside of the basic warranty, but I used my credit card and it had like an, another year extended warranty. So I got my battery replaced for free. Nice. Um, and when they replaced the battery, they scratched my screen. So I got a brand new screen for free. Oh my. So wow. it, it's going to, I mean, it's almost like a brand new phone. Um, no kidding. It, I still have to wait like a, a quarter of a second when I lodge apps, but that's it. And I can, I mean, for like what? 1500 bucks phones cost today, $1,100, maybe $900. Yeah. I can, I can wait and spend that same amount three months from now, six months from now, and then get such a, a, a so much better phone for the exact same price that I would spend oh, now. Right. So the longer I wait, the more value I get. So, um, no, I'm not in a hurry. That's great. That's a, that's Good a great, look at it. Uh, that, yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's an awesome counterpoint to, what I, you know, we probably talk about a lot on this, uh, this show, which is the need to, to constantly upgrade or whatever. We kind of fall into that. I know I do, but partially because I'm exposed to so much new technology all the time that mm -hmm. it's hard for me to even know what it would be like for me to stay with a phone for three years. Uh, like, I don't even know what that's like. Like I haven't lived that life in years because I'm constantly reviewing new devices. And when Google puts out a new device, like it's weird for me to still be on the Pixel 4 XL, even though the Pixel 5 is the current phone. Like that's like unusual for me. Like I, I it's fine. It's working fine for me, but it's an unusual situation for me to be in because I'm so used to always having new phones. Um, so so I, I respect that. I, I love that that you have uh, such a, a measured kind of view on what you actually need your phone for and the and what the actual risk in air quotes is for you running uh running a phone with an OS that isn't being updated. You're probably right. You're probably, you know, very unlikely to be targeted uh, at the end of the day. So I mean hey, the camera the, ca the camera's still great. Um, I do swap memory. So like if I launch another app and another app in the background, it might close it. I am running uh, close to, uh, you know, maximum in terms of uh, space uh, because yeah. we no longer have unlimited storage with Google Photos. But then I loaded uh, Amazon uh, photo backup because I'm a prime user. Um, and so I use that as a replacement. Um, I'm, I understand that I'm limping across and like I'm really like – on lean of like, I need to manage my apps closer, like unload stuff I'm not using for a while, uh, clear out photos and videos that I take. Um, but I still can film in 4K. Uh, the, the camera is still up there in terms of all of the camera, in terms of quality. Um, there's not a lot to complain about. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. And that's a great reason to keep using it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Unless there is another all about Android giveaway, then maybe I can. <laughs> well, can I interest you in phone? a Pixel f Pixel 4a with a slight imperfection? <laughs> what about a Pixel wait, 3 XL with a, a slight imperfection? <laughs> what about a OnePlus watch? Oh, God. Watch? Is that that watch? Oh, jeez. Huh? huh? No, no, please, it's, Wesley. It is my it. birthday, take so it. give it all to me. Take it. I'll take let's it. Just, let's so, just shower Wesley with all of our, our, of, our, of, our, of our used hardware. <laughs> oh, don't even get Anson me started. Watch. I've got a whole drawer full. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me do this. Let me do this real quick. Here you go. What you that's what you get. Wow, that's huge. So wow. So if you need protection, you can put that at use those as shul, uh, as elbow pads. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't that's, think about that, that might be might... something for my next motorcycle trip. Yeah. <laughs> How's it look? Look okay? okay. Saves your funny bone. Uh, <laughs> it's a funny bone protector. <laughs> 